Man, they move with good the hell, ain't they? Damn, baby, that nigga door hit me that hard. Try that. Boy, you better get your ass out of here. Yeah, you can't do that. Man, you got me fucked up. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! We got a gangster lady in the car. What's up, gangster lady? Got the eye patch on. What's up? Oh, fine stuff. So. I fuck with a lady with an eye patch on. <laughs> She'll never see half the shit I'm doing. <laughs> I saw you with that bitch. You ain't so shit. You better turn this way and see I was by myself, bitch. Don't believe me or your lying ass eye. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. You got an iPhone? <laughs> I like big, big titties. Yeah. Big, big titties. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Big, big titties. Go back oh, yeah. marijuana here in New York State. Eight other states have done it, plus the District of Columbia. There are a lot of reasons to do it, but first and foremost, because it's a racial justice issue. Because people across all ethnic and racial lines use marijuana at roughly the same rates, but the arrests for marijuana are 80 percent black and Latino. Uh, we need to not only legalize marijuana here, but when it, this multi-billion dollar industry comes to New York, we need to prioritize the individuals and the communities that have been the most harmed by the war on drugs. And we need to parole people who are in jail for marijuana arrests, and we need to expunge their records and use some of this tax revenue for them to re-enter. And what I would say is that effectively marijuana in New York State has been legal for white people for a long time and it's time to make it legal for everybody else.